Hello and welcome to my podcast, friends. I'm here. I wanted to jump on and do a quick podcast. I do apologize for the triteness and the shortness of this one, but sometimes we don't need a big, long chat. We just need a short one. The point of today's podcast is a very, very strong message that has come through to me this morning. It came through to me at 20 past two last night and I felt compelled to talk about it. Straight away, I knew what I needed to say. Um, I asked the spiritual world. I ask who... I can't say who I ask this. No, it's not the point. The point of what I'm saying to you is that I'm sharing a message. And the message is life is a fucking miracle. It is the most incredible gift you could ever have. And we take this for granted every fucking day with our entitledness, with our vanity, with the unawareness of just having an expectation that tomorrow will come, that that person that you care about will just be there, that the sun will rise tomorrow. You don't know that. You don't know that. No one knows that. That's the point. So only in the absence of something, as I've been shown, and I'm reminding you, if you need to hear this, Stop what you're doing right now and listen. Only in the absence of something, in the emptiness of something, the absence of its not being there, can we understand the value of something. Straight up. Imagine if you had been beautiful your whole life, you just took your beauty and you took your youth, for example, as, you know, a given. And then all of a sudden it was just ripped away from you. How are you going to go about that? How are you going to, what are you going to do about that? How are you going to cope with that? You know, we hear stories about people losing loved ones, people losing family, Sometimes we need to be reminded that life is so precious, so fragile, and time moves so quick. Have you ever gone to the beach and just put your hands in the sand and cup that sand and just kind of open your fingers just a little bit and all of the sand just starts to slip through your fingers This is what life is like. So a reminder, a very strong but gentle reminder. Stop wasting time with people that don't want you, that don't love you, that don't care about you, that can't understand you. Stop wasting your time with people that are not present with you, that are just incapable of receiving you. You must get away from them. Start getting around people that want to be here are grateful. Get around people that make you feel alive. Because after this time and space has passed, it's gone. The sand slipped through your fingers and it's too late. I was reminded this last night and I'm sharing this with you. You don't have as long as you think you do. No one does. Call that person that you've been meaning to call for a while and you've always got some fucking excuse. Call them, text them. Hey, how you going? Hey, what's happening? Check in, just check in. And if they aren't there for you and you know it, 
You know it. They're not really there for you. They don't really love you. They don't know. They're not, if they're not able to give love, then it is what it is. I've talked about this before. Make this life count. Do something that makes you feel good. You deserve that. We all deserve to feel good. People that are miserable, that are dead inside, they've got no fucking soul, they are bitter and they just want to fuck you up. They just want to drag you down. You're not here to be alone. You're not here to be alone. This whole thing of being a lone wolf in conjunction with the precious gift that life is and understanding that, this lone wolf mentality, it can work in your 20s, a little bit in your 30s, and by your 40s, no. By your 50s, it's a death sentence. We need each other. We need to build real connections with people with people that are able to see us, hear us, feel us, and have some level of capacity for love. If they don't pursue relationships and they don't pursue love, um, there's something wrong with them. And I'm going to do a video talking about that uh, at some point, why you're single. It's actually at this point, not actually entirely your fault that you are single with the world the way that it is right now, everything is so inverted now that it's not even possible really anymore to sustain relationships because that relationships aren't valued. We don't value each other. And that's why this message is coming through so strongly right now. So... If we're living in an environment or living in a world that places no value in relationships, then we're in serious trouble. And people that just completely underestimate and just by their own lack of self-awareness and their naivete and just this kind of world that's so reductionary now where everything's so simplified that they don't even understand the complexities that are required to actually sustain a relationship. Okay. And this isn't because I've like, I'm interested in psychology and I've done, you know, workshops and reading and learning about this stuff. It's pretty straightforward. Everything is getting so inverted right now. It's so dark out there. Like it's so fucking dark when people, when I, and what really gets me is when I hear this kind of um, like, that doesn't happen. It's not like that. That's a bit harsh. Oh no. This kind of picket fence thing where we just pretend it's okay. That's not viable. That's not viable. That's actually part of the problem. People unwilling to see just how fucking bad it is. Life is precious. You've got to make the most of it. And the time is slipping through your fingers. So just get on with it and be fucking grateful that every second that your heart is beating. How often do we say thank you? How often do we say just like basic stuff that we just take for granted? Thank you, heart, for beating for me. Thank you, lungs, for breathing for me. How often are we in our gratitude? No, be honest. Like when you go to some of these third world countries or you go to some parts of America or just anywhere. People are struggling left, right and centre. We've got fucking vets all over the streets. The system is broken. It's all fucked up. So if you can find and nurture some level of love, excellent. I will be doing a video about why you are single and no, it's not all your fault. The culture shifts the way that we interact with each other, which shifts how we see each other. So I will be explaining that in another podcast, but today be fucking grateful that you're here. You don't own anything. Everything that you own will be dust and landfill straight up.
Everything that we have in the material world will break down, be destroyed, be replaced, be recycled. You think your house is so stylish right now with all of your little fucking knickknacks? In another 20, 30, 40, 50 years, all of that will be out of style in some fucking Salvo's bin at Vinny's. It is the relationships and the quality of the connections that we forge with other humans that is the real journey here. The love that you give, the love that you receive, and your journey. That's it. Period. Case closed. It's not even up for debate. Because any second this could all be ripped away from you. And it probably will be. The good news is it'll be over soon. The bad news is it'll all be over soon. I'm going to leave it here for today. Call that person that you've been meaning to speak to. Life is too short for petty bullshit. And if they are psychopathic, if they're on the Machiavellian scale, if they don't have a soul, they're cold, they're dark, Just, you know what, what happens to a plant when you don't water it? You just pull away from it. Disrespectful, rude, don't engage. Operate at a higher frequency and that's where you want to go. People ask me, why can't I get connected to this thing or do that? Because where you're trying to drag that being is too fucking low. It's too low. He will not engage with you. Too low. So we've got to raise our frequency higher for exactly the same way of being. Exactly the same. Get your frequency the fuck up. And that is truth. Truth and love. Oneness is the highest frequency. All right? Truth, love, oneness, it's the highest frequency. It vibrates at a frequency that can destroy anything. Because it is the truth of all things is one. Yes, chaos and order are one. They're two sides of the same coin. We need both. Good and evil are one. We need both. Unfortunately, yes, we need both. Can't have one without the other. In fact, they need each other. They're mutually exclusive. But right now in the world, everything's just becoming so fucking unbalanced. It's so inverted and spiritually filthy. (sighs) Living it here, signing out. Sending lots of love to you. I'll fight for you if you fight for me. But wake the fuck up. Wake up. A lot of people are being carried for too far, too long. Rides over.